Oh, what a day! What a day! Oh, oh, hello there. I'm Mr Perkins. I'm one of the drivers on the Fat Controllers Railway. Oh, I've had a busy day. Henry came off the rails. So on top of everything else, Thomas and I had to fetch the breakdown train and rescue him. Oh. Now, I've got about half an hour break, so I thought I would write a postcard to a lady called Mary. She sent a letter asking about the railway. I found this in the station shop. It's a postcard of the Steamworks. The Steamworks is where we had to take Henry. Dear Mary, you asked me what was the most important place on the railway. And I wasn't sure what to say, but I do wonder whether it isn't the Steamworks. A railway can't work without its engines, and the Steamworks is the place where those engines are kept working. The engineers at the Steamworks can patch a leaky boiler, replace a damaged funnel, or even give an engine new wheels. It's also the best place for an engine to get a fresh coat of paint. They have lots of special equipment at the Steamworks, like a smelting furnace where they can cast new metal parts. The engineers do most of the work at the Steamworks, but they need the help of Victor, the narrow gauge engine to move all the heavy parts and shift the engines as they're being repaired. Kevin, the little crane, is also very helpful. Oops! They also have a special gantry crane for lifting engines up to work underneath them. Engines are very heavy. Every engine leaves the steamworks looking shiny and new and ready to be really useful again. And that's why the steamworks is so important. Yours sincerely, Mr. Perkins. There, another job done. Post that at the station on my way back. Oh, might even have time for a cup of tea before I go. Oh, oh hello again. I was just looking for the story where Thomas first pulls the breakdown train. I'm pretty sure that's also where Thomas first gets his own branch line. Do you know this story? Thomas and the breakdown train. Every day, the fat controller came to the station to catch his train, and he always said hello to Thomas. There were lots of trucks in the yard, and Thomas worked hard to push and pull them to their right places. But on a siding by themselves were some trucks that Thomas was told he mustn't touch, and two strange things that his driver called cranes. That's the breakdown train, he said. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and trucks when there's an accident. One day, Thomas was in the yard when he heard an engine whistling, help, help, and a goods train came rushing through much too fast. It was a new engine called James, and he was frightened. His brake blocks were on fire, and sparks streamed out on each side. On, 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 laughed the trucks, and poor James disappeared under a bridge. Oh my, that sounds dangerous. A bell rang in the signal box and a man came running. James is off the line, the breakdown train, quickly. So Thomas was coupled on. Hurry, 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 he puffed. Bother those trucks and their tricks. I hope poor James isn't hurt. They found poor James and the trucks at a bend in the line. The brake van and the last few trucks were on the rails but the front ones were in a heap. James was in a field with a cow looking at him. Never mind, James, said his driver. It wasn't your fault. It was those wooden brakes they gave you. We always said they were no good. Wooden brakes, dear, oh dear. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside and he pulled the unhurt trucks out of the way. Oh dear, oh dear, they groaned. Serves you right, puffed Thomas crossly. Then, with the two cranes, they put James back on the rails. James tried to move, but he couldn't. So Thomas helped him back to the shed, 
The Fat Controller was very pleased with Thomas. You are a really useful engine, he said kindly. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint. And you, Thomas, shall have a branch line all to yourself. What did I tell you? That's when Thomas first got his branch line. <laughs> now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line all to himself and puffs proudly backwards and forwards with two coaches all day. And we know who those coaches are, don't we? Annie and Clarabelle. <coughs> oh. And they're waiting outside. It's time I took Thomas along his branch line again now. Goodbye.